Let me get you to go ahead and tell us your first and last name. James Brad, next. Spell your last name, James. B R O A D E N T. All right, James, and um, you're 19. Yeah. Okay. Um, tell me why you agreed to do an interview today. Cause I want to tell my story. What is your story? I don't want nobody, you know what I'm saying, sugar cold shit. I'm gonna tell y'all what what it is. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. Okay. I don't need my cousin, my auntie, and none of them motherfuckers to tell shit for me. What do you want to say? What y'all want to know? Tell me what happened in, in the parking lot of that recording studio. What happened? What happened? Kid, they bitch ass. Why? It's funny, man. I don't want to ask me the same thing. Oh, you want me to tell you the whole story? Yes. All right. See, what happened was, you know what I'm saying, got up. See, I ain't just wake up, you know what I'm saying, playing like, oh, I'm finna go kill somebody today. You know, no shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Just happened like that, sort of kind. You know what I'm saying? So, shit, just like a normal day. Got up, smoked my weed. You know what I'm saying? I let a couple of bitches or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Me and my cousin, we hopped on the bus. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, we was on, it was, the scenario, we was gonna already go down anyway. You know what I'm saying? But... Who to say somebody was gonna be dead, you know what I'm saying? We just going to hit a lick, you know what I'm saying? Or shit, whatever came with. So, we was on the bus, you know what I'm saying, in downtown Dallas. Like shit, man, fuck that, you know what I'm saying? Let's hop on the train. Let's go to downtown Garden, you know what I'm saying? And we gonna rob somebody. You how the niggas with the money, just being real. Let's go out there where the rich white folks stay at, you know what I'm saying? Rob one of them, you know what I'm saying? So we get out there and shit. Time just ticking, ticking, like, man, fuck it, you know what I'm saying, shit, something gotta go down, dog, cause this a long ass walk back to South Dallas, you know what I'm saying, so shit, we walking through, uh, by, you know what a recording thing is, right, you know what I'm saying, in the bank right behind it, so we walking through the parking lot, you know what I'm saying, and shit, somebody, well, I guess the motherfucker, uh, who was on the passenger side of the car, whatever, he was out there burning something, you know what I'm saying? And he threw the shit in the, uh, in the dumpster, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, dog, you know you can get a uh, you can get a ticket for that, right? That's vandalism, you know what I'm saying? So we got the uh, chopping it up and shit, you know what I'm saying? Talking about the studio, because I rap and stuff, all that good shit, you know what I'm saying? So, like shit, fuck, you know what I'm saying? We finna get ready to leave. I went back and asked him, like, man, y'all got a, uh, one of y'all got a cigarette? You know what I'm saying? He's like, yeah. So shit, he went to go reach for it, pulled the pistol, shot him. Shot the driver, whoever the fuck he was, shit. He like, the one I shot at first, he stumbled back, you know what I'm saying, like drop, got back up like he was finna run. The one I hit second, you know what I'm saying, he raised up like he was finna do something, so I shot him in the head, you know what I'm saying. Then the other one, shit, shot him twice in the head, just make sure, fuck that, you know what I'm saying, I don't need that shit, you know what I'm saying, lay that shit down, you know what I'm saying. So me and my cousin uh, ran their pockets, you know what I'm saying, he got the keys, he got their wallet and shit. Hopped in the driver, hopped in the passenger side. We did. So they did nothing to you or nothing to provoke you, but you just felt that See, you man, could take like, their life? When they, you know what I'm saying, I just blanked out, you know what I'm saying, like, when that shit happened. Because, man, I ain't ever killed nobody before, you know what I'm saying? I done shot at people before. Ain't no problem if you pull a pistol, you know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck about no girl, like, you know what I'm saying? Shit. You killed two young men now. Better they life than mine. Do you have any remorse? None whatsoever. Do it look like? What would you say to either of these families? They leave behind babies and widows. I got a family too. Do you, I mean, so you're gonna, what do you think is gonna happen to you now? Whatever they throw in. Hopefully the death period. Hopefully? Yeah. Why do you hope? Can they give me life? I'm going to kill somebody else. Straight up. I'm telling you right now. I can't do no motherfucking life. I'm going to go crazy. So you want the death penalty? They better. Pick one. Or you going to have some more bodies. Oh, uh, in here you're going to kill someone? No. Nah. Whichever penitentiary they send me to. They better put me on death row. Tell you just like I'm going to tell the judge. Then the motherfuckers in Garland anyway, I already told me, are oh, you fucked up? Well, maybe so. Everybody got to die someday. I think people tonight will hear your side of the story and almost think this is sick that you feel this way. How do you respond to that? How I respond? 
fuck, 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 even if they celibate. I know the game is crazy. It's more crazy than a silver bit. I'm married to that crazy bitch. I became a fetter. Anything else you wanted to say? I do want to tell my mom, my brother, and I'm going to give y'all their names so they'll know who the fuck I'm talking about. Andrew Kelly, Aaron Easton, Nakia Martin, and Korean Martin. I love y'all, dog. Take care of my motherfucking nephews and nieces. Is it your aunt who turned you in? To be honest, I don't even know. You know what I'm saying? The story I got, oh, that was my, my auntie my auntie snitched on me. My cousin, as soon as they locked us up in Garland, you know what I'm saying, in the feds, so the lieutenants got up in his face talking about all that time. He broke down and started crying. You know what I'm saying? Just like a hoe. Did he pull it? Was, did nah, he pull I pulled the trigger. He was just there. That's accomplished the murder, though. You know what I'm saying? But I'm probably get the death penalty. He gonna probably get 25 to life. Ain't no telling. But you pulled the trigger. Yeah. And you robbed these guys? Merc both of them. Now we robbed them. I killed them. How much? Money I popped did you that get? bitch ass. You know what I'm saying? He ran they pockets. We hopped in a slab and dip. How much money did you get from them? Shit, I don't know. I wasn't finna go to no damn ATM. I ain't that. You know what I'm saying? That don't make sense. What did you think when the police caught up to you? What I think when they hit the lights. I said, damn, <laughs> and started laughing, you know what I'm saying, just like I'm doing now. And looked them in their face with a big-ass smirk. Y'all ain't got shit on me, dog. but I do want to see the evidence. Yeah, I killed them, but what evidence y'all got on me? I know y'all ain't got no videotape, no fingerprints, but in the car. I just can't believe you killed two people and you're laughing about it. Yeah. Just like when they stick that damn needle in my one, they gonna laugh at me. Look at that nigga. Dumb motherfucker. I know how y'all is, dog. Fuck, just like I said. Fuck his family, too. Both of them. Anybody, do you have anything, Patrick? Okay. Anything else? I said it good. I said it. I love you, my family, dude. Yeah, make sure my mama see that. How, do you, how, long, how much of your life have you spent in jail? Shit, I was locked up in juvie for a good six months. Mm, spent a couple of days in jail, regular jail for a couple of um, positional control substance. You know what I'm saying? And that's it. I ain't got no dirty ass record. You know what I'm saying? Look at my shit, it's clean. Not anymore. Yeah, fuck. I only guy I can judge. What do you think? How do you think you'll be judged? Fuck him too. The devil in his army too. Fuck all of them. Some people might say you are the devil. Maybe. Look me in my eyes and tell me what you see. I don't think that'll be cut out for television. How long have you been? You came here what day? I mean, I've been this bitch about. Two or three days, I ain't even count. I'm just waiting on them to sentence me. Come on with my lawyer. I don't even need a fucking lawyer. Do you have a lawyer yet? No. Nah, I ain't got the money for one I showed hell. Ain't got no million dollars for no fucking bun or no honey G's either. Shit, if I did, I wouldn't have robbed a nigga. And Merc. What were you robbing them for? Drug money? Money, car. And whatever the fuck else came with it, you know what I'm saying? I mean, wouldn't be no drugs if that's the case. I know plenty of dope boys to go hit. They hold the keys and pounds, you know what I'm saying? But why do that when I might get caught with the dope and still get a kingpin charge, you know what I'm saying? Do you regret robbing them? Do I regret? Do you wish you would have never gone to Garland that night? Yeah. But you don't regret killing them. You just wish you would have avoided that situation. I wish I wouldn't have had that pistol on me. Then I wouldn't have murked them. But some of them gonna still get robbed either way it go. You know what I'm saying? Cause that was the whole agenda was. And right now as we're talking, they're burying these two men in their funerals. Still not an ounce of sympathy, not an ounce of remorse for them or their families? No. Fuck. 
Be a man in their fucking family. All right, thank you.